I want to talk the financials. I think it's really important. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, um, Bank of America raised its dividend today. It's a very big dividend boost. The first thing that happens is people say, well, that's nonsense. They're lying. Bank of America is a bunch of liars. They shouldn't have raised the dividend. That was moronic. That's like Washington Mutual. Well, you know, I, I don't think you raise the dividend and be a moron. I've seen it happen. The New York Times was stupidly raising the dividend. But, you know, what I see for the most part with the financials is, is that people are thinking their whole business is related to one line item, which is either mortgages or corporate credit. Mm -hmm. And I would tell you that corporate credit has collateral, mortgages doesn't. Right now I'm fighting some Business Week reporter on Fannie Mae, Dawn Kopecky. She's convinced that Fannie Mae is worthless. You know, I don't know. I mean, they have some bad loans like everybody, and I think that's why the stock sells cheaply. All the financials have bad loans. If you can't take reading about bad loans, you must sell these. But to me, Bank of America raises the dividend big. All I think of is, wow, that thing's really getting hard to short because now you got to pay 4.7. Citigroup is getting really hard to short because you got to pay 4.5. I think people have to understand when you short a stock, you owe the dividend. So when companies raise the dividend, it makes the short tougher. But again, that's not for amateurs. That's for professionals.